thank you, Father. Well, I believe there's someone here today, the month of June will be the best month you have seen so far. If you are the one, let me hear you shout hallelujah. <clears throat> let us pray. Immortal God, invisible God, immortal God, how great thou art, immortal. Immortal, invisible God, immortal God, how great immortal. Invisible, the only wise God, the Almighty. Glory be to your holy name. Accept our worship in Jesus' name. Thank you for all you've done for us since the beginning of the year. Thank you for what you will do for the rest of the year. Thank you especially for the miracle you're about to perform tonight. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. As we gather together, Lord, to dine with you, we pray that the miracle of the Holy Communion will work for us tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let well, someone shout hallelujah. Well, shake hands with one or two people and say, God, we surprise you this month. And then you may please be seated. Our team, as you know, for this month is understanding the God of wonders. As we come together for Holy Communion, we will want to take a look at John chapter 6 and just read verse 53. To 54. John 6, 53 to 54. Uh, it would be a good idea if you read the whole chapter. You will, you will really be blessed. But let's read John 6, 53 and 54. Then Jesus said unto them, Except and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood has eternal life and I will raise him up at the last day. One of the things you need to understand about God 
is that he's a God of faith. When we're talking about God, one thing that is very, very crucial to understand Verse 3, Hebrews 11, verse 3, tells us that it is true faith that we understand that the words, not just one word, the words were framed by the word of God. That when God wanted to create the walls, well, everything that he created, he himself did it by faith because he just spoke. And it happened. The Bible calls because Jesus Christ the author and finisher of our faith. So everything we're talking about in our Christian race is all about faith. Salvation is by faith. That we are going to finish well is by faith that by his stripes we were healed is by faith, that, the, that our God shall supply all our needs is by faith, that our tomorrow will be all right is by faith. Come cross. That Satan is under our feet is by faith. That we can do all things through Christ is by faith. In fact, faith is so important in our Christian life, that another word for a Christian is a believer. I'm sure you know a believer means one who has faith, one who believes. Hebrews 11 verse 6, Hebrew, Hebrews 11 verse 6 says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. Impossible. To please God. Romans 14, verse 23, Romans 14, verse 23, tells us whatever is not of faith is sin. In other words, you can't even say you are holy if you don't have faith. Because whatever is not of faith is sin. And so you can imagine how glad Jesus was in, in the book of Matthew chapter 8 from verse 5 to 13. Matthew 8, 5 to 13. When he sent for healing of his servant who wasn't even present. And Jesus Christ said, okay, I'll come and heal your servant. He said, no, no, just speak a word. And my servant will be made to just speak a word. Hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak a word to you tonight. This will be your month of miracles.
You see, when you read Second Kings chapter 4, from verse 1 to 7, Second Kings 4, from verse 1 to 7, it, it tells you the story of a widow who was bankrupt and went to the man of God for help. And the man of God said, what do you have in the house? He said, just, just one little pot of oil. And the man of God said, go and borrow empty vessels. Borrow many. And then begin to pour out the oil and set aside that which is full. The woman believed. She went to borrowed many vessels and began to pour out the oil. Because she believed that the man of God has spoken. And that therefore when she begins to pour the oil, the oil will begin to flow. She believed. And she got a miracle. She was able to pay all her debts in one day. And she had enough to live on for the rest of her life. Because she had faith. To every man, every woman, every child of God, who will believe it? This will be, this will be your month of miracles. It was faith that finally got Naaman his miracle. You know the story, Second Kings chapter 5 from verse 1 to 14. Second Kings 5, 1 to 14. Seven times. At first, it sounded to him as foolishness. What kind of nonsense is this? This man who calls himself a man of God had been told that I have leprosy. I thought he would come out, pray for me, lay his hands on the places where the leprosy is, call on his God. I thought he would pray. He didn't come out. He didn't even see me. He didn't even pray. Injury. He asked me to go and wash in one dirty, one dirty river. The Bible says he was angry. He was right to be angry. Because what the man of God has said to human mind was foolishness. But when he finally said, okay, let's wait and see. He demonstrated faith by dipping, not five times, not six times, but seven. Because when he dipped the sixth time, he was a leper. But when he did, when he dipped himself the seventh time, faith jumped into action. And he came out of the river with the skin of a brand new baby. For everyone who will believe, in the name that's above every other name, this will be your month of miracles. So when Jesus said, eat my body, 
drink my blood. That doesn't make sense. Drink, eat your body. We are not cannibals. Drink your blood. We are not witches. It didn't make sense even when he was here on earth. And then to make the matter even more complicated, he now took bread, broke it, and said, all right, this is my body. Bread, your body, took wine, and said, hey, drink, this is my blood. Uh -huh. I'm not crazy. Bread is bread. Wine is wine. <laughs> but when the God of faith speaks, when the almighty, the God of wonders, speak. The incredible begins to happen. He said, when you eat my body and you drink my blood, huh, then you have my life in you. The Bible says, if the spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in you, the same spirit will quicken your mortal bodies. I have enough faith to believe that after tonight's Holy Communion service. The life of the Almighty God Himself will penetrate through into your bodies. I've told you, some of you are old, you've heard this story before. A high chief of Ondo town became paralyzed from waist down. They took him to the best hospital in London. They tried everything. Nothing happened. One day, the chief surgeon in the hospital came to him with a very long, sharp needle in his hand and said, Chief, look at me. Chief was lying helpless on the bed. And he drove the needle through his thigh all the way through. And I asked the chief, do you feel anything? The chief said, no. He said, chief, go home. Stop wasting your money here. There's nothing anybody can do for you. You'll never walk again. So they brought the chief home. And the chief had one small girl living in the house. Who said to the old man, if only you can get to redemption camp, there's a man of God there who will pray for you and you will walk again. And they brought the old man. 
was fairly heavy in size and heavier because the two legs were paralyzed. Took four strong men to carry him into my living room. And I shared with him that passage I just quoted. If the spirit of him that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in you, the same spirit will quicken your mortal bodies. And I asked him if he would give his life to Jesus and become a believer. He surrendered his life to Jesus. We prayed a simple prayer. They carried him in. He walked out. <laughs> By faith. I want you to come to the table tonight with your faith at the highest point possible. Yes, it is bread made of flour and the wine itself. <laughs> Ordinary wine, no alcohol in it. But by faith, because Jesus said, this is my body. By faith, because he said, this is my blood. The same faith with which God created the heaven and the earth is going to be operative tonight. And someone will live here shouting for joy. And that's for believers. Anyone who is not born again is not a believer. You have to be a believer to believe that the blood that Jesus shed at Calvary is still available to wash away your sins. The first step to showing God that you are a believer is that you surrender your life to him. So if you want to give your life to Jesus, you want to become a believer, come now. The Lord is waiting. He's ready to save your soul. It's ready to give you a brand new beginning. Come tonight. Come in faith. We will pray for your salvation. And the Almighty God will save your soul. And everything will change for the better. I'm going to Because tonight is a night when faith will begin to work for you and miracles will begin to happen. I'm counting now one, two. Three. Okay, those of you are still on the way, hurry up. Those who are already in front, let's talk to the Almighty God. And say, Father, I come, I come in faith. Save my soul tonight. Forgive all my sins. Turn me to a true believer, a true child of God. And I will serve you for the rest of my life. And the rest of us, let's stretch our hands towards these people and intercede for them. Pray that the one who saved your soul will save their own souls also. 
pray that the blood that cleanses you from all your sins will cleanse all of them from their own sins. Pray that the salvation that made them brand new creatures, that make you brand new creatures, we make them brand new creatures. Pray for them for one more minute. And if anyone is still on the way, you have to run now because I want to pray for salvation. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Ancient of this, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for revelations. And thank you for these people who have come forward to surrender their life to you. They cannot see you, but they believe that you are here. They believe that your blood can wipe away their sins. Father, please honor their faith. Out of your mercy, wipe away their sins. Receive them into the family of God. And from now on, anytime they call on you, please answer them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Well, let someone shout hallelujah. Now, I want to rejoice with those of you who have come forward. I want to promise you that by the grace of God from now on, I'll be praying for you. And so if you will turn to your left, you will see somebody lifting up a placard. Please follow her. She will take you to where some pastors are waiting. You will collect your name, your address, and your prayer request. And I promise you I'll be praying for you. Congratulations. applause for them. Thank you, my father. Thank you, father. Thank you, almighty God. Thank you. Now, if you are clapping for the God of faith, God of wonders, do it very well. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight, Your prayer will be that the Almighty God, who has sent his word to you tonight, will let that word increase your faith. Because the Bible says faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. You've already heard the word tonight. As you take the bread, pray that the word of God you have heard will increase your faith to the point where you'll be able to get your miracle instantly. When it is time to drink the wine, I will tell you how to pray. The Lord Jesus, the very night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, eat, 
this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go ahead, eat, and begin to pray. Gives me strength from day to day. It'll never lose this power. 
Thank you, Father. If you have not been served bread, will you please shout hallelujah? If you have not been served wine, will you please shout hallelujah? In the old auditorium, if you have not been served wine, will you wave your hands? I can't hear you, hallelujah, but I can see your hand if you wave it. All right, shall we please stand? Thank you, pastors. When we drink the wine tonight, we want to put into action one of the things that we understand about God. And that is, he's a God of suddenly. When you drink the wine tonight, we're going to say, Father, as I drink this wine, suddenly, let my miracle come. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had sought, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye each time you drink of it in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father. Yeah. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Father, suddenly. Let my miracles begin. Physical miracles. 
spiritual miracles, marital miracles, ministerial miracles, emotional miracles. Suddenly, Lord, it's a resurrection power. Begin his great work in my life, in every facet of my life. Let my miracles begin. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Mighty name we have prayed. My Father and my God, in the lives of all your children, of all believers, let your miracles begin suddenly. <laughs> miracles of healing, Miracles of deliverance. Miracles of fruitfulness. Miracles of victory. Miracles of fruitfulness. Miracles of promotion. Creative miracles. Special miracles, abundant miracles. Suddenly, let the miracles begin. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Then let's be seated for a moment. Pass your cups through the aisles and uh, take your Thanksgiving offering.
provision for your healings, for your deliverance, for your victories, for your joy. Thousands of years ago, and there's still power mighty in his blood. Thank you, Father. As soon as you've taken your offering, you dance to the nearest basket and drop it with joy. I'm sure you have passed your cups to the eyes. And then tonight, rejoice with your neighbors. Shake hands with two or three people because suddenly, suddenly, I say suddenly, your miracles will begin. Over to you, Ben. I'm serving the God of miracles. I know. Yes, I know. The Lord will bless your offering. He will sanctify it. He will use it for his glory. He will receive you and receive your offering. And suddenly, your breakthroughs will come.
Because Jesus lives. Even by this time tomorrow, you will have testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let me hear a sudden hallelujah.